Maya Angelou for Trailer Boat Magazine. Just behind me, we have Whitley's SL22, the younger brother of the SL26, which competed in last year's Australia's Greatest Boats. We're here on Victoria's Riviera, the beautiful Gippsland Lakes. A four hour drive out of Melbourne and well worth the effort. This particular boat has been on the market for a few years, but what is different is it's running a brand new engine. Volvo's taken their V6 and shrunk it. This one's running a 200 horsepower compact V6 that's fuel injected. It's a really, really neat engine installation at a fraction of the cost of a four-stroke outboard. Well worth consideration. What Volvo promises is loads of grunt from this new engine. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Under the hood is what makes this package really, really work. Now, it looks like a normal stern drive, but let me tell you, it's not. This V6 from Volvo is their new entry-level petrol engine. 200 horsepower and loads of low-down torque, as I mentioned before. Quite pleasingly, though, it didn't run out of guts in mid-range and top end. We took it out offshore, ran into a bit of swell, the power's on demand. Internally, you've still got almost the same amount of room as you would if you had the outboard fitted. The main difference is, it's about a third of the price of a comparable four-stroke outboard. Best thing of all, despite it being a good family boat, you're not compromising anything as an offshore fishing boat or big bay boat for that matter. You've got tons of room. I've paced it out and it's actually six of my steps to the rear transom. Now for people with real feet, that's probably about a metre and a half. Speaking of um, the rearward facing seats, they're actually quite a good idea. On some of the earlier Whitley's, I did find that the space between um, the helm seat and the forward bulkhead was a little tight. What they have done is actually utilize that molding to create a huge amount of storage. Just look at that. Now normally in a boat, if we have one problem, there's never enough room for all the crap we keep accumulating. No matter how big the boat is, we always want more stuff. You notice on the floor, we have carpet. Carpet's a great idea, reduces the glare, gives you a nice sort of non-slip surface. If you want it to be easier to maintain, the rear section is an option. Unclip it and you've got great diamond non-skid underneath. What you'll also notice underneath is a really spacious kill tank. Now, I'm no contortionist, but I reckon you'll get a couple of decent sized snapper in there. Probably a little short to fit a tuna over about 10 kilos, but at that depth, if you're chasing snapper, smaller kingfish, most of your reef species, I reckon the size is just about perfect. Another standard feature on this boat is the live bay tank. Um, on most boats, plumbing is optional. On this one, it's standard. Some more clever thinking, this pressurized fresh water system. Standard capacity for um, the water bladder is 25 litres, but if you wanted something a bit more substantial, Whitley can accommodate you. Behind this zip-up rear awning is a two-metre V-berth. You'll notice the velour headlining, smart upholstery, all in all, a great family package. The great thing about buying a boat from Whitley is that most of the options are standard on their boats. For an example, stainless steel rocket launcher, standard. Bimini, standard. Front and side clears, standard. Windscreen grab rail, standard. Trim tabs, standard. If you purchase all those items individually or tick them on somebody else's checklist, you're probably up for another ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000. Alright, so let me run this down. Tons of standard features. A six and a half metre plus boat. A 200 horsepower stern drive. Enough room to accommodate your family. Enough room to take your mates fishing. Storage, everywhere. Really good fit and finish. And an options list that's only about this big. For 70 grand on a McKay trailer with breakaway brakes, it's got to be on your short list. I reckon it's an absolute bargain.